Hey guys, it's Sydney at Treadmill Review Guru. The new 2023 model of the Soul F85 is here. I'm going to give you the rundown on how this new design performed for us and let you see and hear it in action, so stick around. So starting with the construction, the F85 has received a new streamlined look, but we're pleased to say that it's just as, as stable as the previous model. So its footprint, as it's laid out like this, is around 82.5 inches long, 38 inches wide, and 66 inches high. And what makes the F85 perfect for home use is the fact that it folds up. So that deck folds up and it locks into place. And then to unlock it, there is a yellow handle underneath the back of the deck, so you can just pull that and the deck will slowly lower to the floor itself. And you also get assistance when you lift up the deck so you don't have to lift up its entire weight because this treadmill is heavy. It weighs around 319 pounds. I will say the deck feels definitely a little bit heavier than other models like the Nordic Track 2450 and the Proform Pro 9000, but most people should be able to lift it to fold it. And I really like that it has four transportation wheels. So when it's folded up, you can just push it around to be able to move it so you don't have to to you know, tip it back to be able to engage those wheels. You can just simply push it around. So considering that it's over 300 pounds, it's actually not that hard to move. And the Soul F85 has a pretty high weight limit of 375 pounds, so it can really handle most users. And this Z-shaped frame that Soul refers to it as is made out of steel. So you have steel frame underneath the deck, and then these steel uprights connect up to then hold the console and the handles in place. Now there isn't a steel crossbar in between the uprights underneath the console like on the previous model with also that storage tray which can definitely help add stability and I think added stability to the previous model but really this new design doesn't need it. It feels incredibly stable and we didn't experience really any shaking of the console, especially the touchscreen. That's usually a thing with touchscreens on treadmills. You can get some wobble when you run and we really don't experience that on uh, the F85, which is really awesome. And the handles are well within reach. I really like that the front handle has been updated to be one continuous piece, so it's really easy to grab, as well as the side handles. This front handle is a little thick, so I can't quite wrap my hands around it, um, especially when I'm trying to you know, use the pulse grips to be able to read my pulse, but I can just kind of lay my palms on them and it does the job just fine, and I really like how easy it is to reach. The motor is a four horsepower motor, so it's the same as the previous model, and really with this size motor, the F85 can handle a lot of use. So if you're looking for a treadmill for distance running, or if you have multiple people in your household who want to use a treadmill, the F85 is a really great option. What's also nice about the motor is that it's quiet. I'm going to hop on the F85 and let you listen to it in a moment, but we're really pleased with how quiet it is. The motor goes up to 12 miles per hour, and then that deck has 15 levels of incline and six levels of decline. So decline has been added. And there is a decline motor on the back underneath the deck. So when it's folded up, you can see it. And the decline actually works to tip up the back end of the deck. That way it can decline it to that grade. And when the treadmill inclines and declines, you can feel the deck you know, tip up and adjust, but it does so really smoothly. There's two back feet underneath and they kind of swivel. So the deck stays nice and balanced when it's adjusting. So it's a really nice feature. One thing about the motor is that it's a little slow to adjust. So it can be kind of frustrating for interval training. So just keep that in mind. The deck is spacious. It's 22 inches wide and 60 inches long. And really it's best for all running strides and really all kinds of treadmill activities. What's nice about it is that it does have a slim profile. So when the deck's at a 0% grade, no incline or decline, just like this, measured from the floor up to the top of the side rail, it's about eight inches high. Even though it inclines and declines, it's easy to step on and off of, and it can actually work a little bit better in homes with lower ceilings. Something to keep in mind is you do wanna factor in your height as well as the incline height of the deck. Make sure that you have enough head clearance in your home, but we really like that this deck is a low profile. And really the deck, I think, 
overall is really similar to the previous model. The cushioning feels firm underfoot, which is you know what we've experienced using other sole treadmills as well as the previous F85. There are some advantages and disadvantages to this. So with firm cushioning, it isn't necessarily great if you have you know, joint issues or discomfort when you're running, but you might wanna check out a model with softer cushioning. If you want you know, a treadmill that feels a little bit more similar to running outside, like especially on the road, the F85 is a good option. And the F85 comes with an impressive lifetime frame and motor warranty, as well as a three-year warranty for parts and a one-year warranty for labor. All right, so let's dive into the console and this new layout. I think overall, it's pretty easy to use. The screen has been updated to be 15.6 inches technically, but 15 inches. And I'll get into everything that comes included on the touchscreen in a moment, but first let's talk about the console and its functionality. So one thing about the screen is that it's not adjustable. So it's in a fixed position, so you can't tip it forward or back or be able to pivot, pivot it to either side to you know, see it off the treadmill like you can on other treadmills. It's plenty easy to view, but I wish it adjusted to be able to, uh, so I can reach it a little bit easier, especially while running. I like that the quick touch buttons have been updated with this new design. They're now on either side of the screen. I think it just makes adjusting the treadmill a little bit quicker and definitely easier. We did notice that these buttons are missing a few key increments though, so like, there isn't a level 15 or a level negative six for the uh, incline on the left side and decline. So it would be nice to have a few additional buttons on either side, but I really like the placement of these buttons. And there are also these new switches down here on the front handle that are really easy to use. They're well within you know reach. And I find that I actually use them kind of the most when I'm adjusting the F85. You can hold them down to be able to jump to, you know, a little bit, kind of adjust uh, a little bit quicker and be able to get to specific increments. Plus you have your start and stop buttons down here and all the buttons are flat, which definitely makes them easier to clean, a little less prone to getting you know sticky or dirty like the previous model. There is also a button for the fan, so I'll let you listen to it. So it just has one setting. There's two vents on either side. You can kind of adjust the airflow a little bit. We did notice like with the new F80 is that the air actually kind of points to the sides of each of the treadmill instead of actually pointing you know, towards the middle to you. So we found the fan to not be very effective. So just keep that in mind. You might, to cool down, you might need to plug in your own fan. The speakers are nice. They're front facing. The volume goes up plenty loud. And plus you can connect your phone and play you know, your own music through them, which is really nice. Something to keep in mind is that I wish that there was a button for uh, maybe even right here for the speakers to be able to adjust the volume on the console. So you have to then adjust it on the screen. There's like a tiny little uh, volume icon up here. And that can be hard to do while you're running. So I would like to see an additional button added in the future. But a really cool addition to the console is this wireless charging pad. So if you have you know, a compatible phone, you can place your phone on there and it will charge. It's also, I noticed when I put my phone here, to charge it, I can also see it, so it's and it's you know easy to be able to view if I want to you know look at anything on it. There's also you know of course the device rack up top for like a larger tablet. It's adjustable. It's really nice to have both of those options. And the cup holders are a nice size. They hold. I'm on the Stanley Cup craze, and they hold my 40 ounce Stanley Cup. You know, pretty nice, nice and steady. Plus on uh, next to both of the cup holders, there's this little pocket here to be able to you know, place your keys or your earbuds or kind of whatever little item you need nearby. So there isn't much, as much storage as the previous model, but there is still enough for your essentials. And we really don't miss the storage tray that was below the console on the old model. So the previous model of the F85 had a good amount of tech and features, but the new model has even more so. And the fact that I really love about the features is that they're included so you don't have to pay an additional monthly subscription fee to access the onboard workouts or the other features. Thank you, Soul, for that. Also, if you just wanna hop in and go, you can. You can simply press start and begin your workout without being plugged into the tech features, although the tech features are pretty cool. So starting with the workouts, there are 10 onboard workouts. So you have, you know, hill, fat burn, cardio, strength, 5K, all of these here to choose from. There's also a custom mode, so you can customize your workouts. 
and each of these modes have preset speed and incline and decline levels so you um, but you can select you know total max speed and time before to make them a little bit more customizable. And as you're going, the treadmill will automatically adjust to the preset levels. You can also create your own workouts and save them in the templates tag, which is up here. So you can create your own and save them there. There's also different fitness tests that you can take. So you have all of these to choose from. So overall, the onboard workouts are pretty standard, but they're really nice to have, and it's nice to be able to create your own and make them customizable. So the previous model of the F85 had uh, seven preloaded streaming apps, which were nice, but a lot of these apps were news apps. The new model now has 12 streaming apps, and most of them are for, fun, for streaming fun things like TV shows, so what's not to like? So you can log into your you know, Netflix account, your Hulu account, and you can just start watching on the screen, which is really awesome. If these apps aren't enough, you can also mirror content from your phone. So you pair it to be able to, you know, watch maybe trainer-led content if you want. So you really have practically unlimited entertainment options on the F85. One tip that I have is to download the Soul Plus app and create a profile on your phone, and then you pair that uh, with your phone through the app to the treadmill. I know it sounds like a process, but it really isn't and the F85 actually makes it pretty easy to do this. Once you have a profile, your passwords for your Netflix and all the other streaming apps are then saved so you don't have to you know, re-log in every time uh, you use the F85 because logging in and getting your you know, show and workout queued up beforehand is a bit of a process. So this definitely helps cut down on that, makes the F85 a little bit more streamlined to use. And unless you're a wizard or something, Harry, trying to click and navigate a touchscreen while running is practically impossible. At least it is for me. So for this reason, I recommend creating a profile and setting up, you know, which app you want to stream up, to stream from, and then customizing your workout before you start working out on the F85. And make sure you head over to treadmillreviewguru.com to learn more about all of these features that I wasn't able to fit in this video. All right, so now I'm gonna hop on the F85 and let you see and hear it in action. But first, if you like this video and find it helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We create reviews like this for you so you know exactly what to expect, and we like to let you see and hear them so you know how they work and if they're gonna work for your home. I'm just gonna start at a casual walking pace around three miles per hour. All right, now I'm gonna increase it to six miles per hour. And here's nine miles per hour. All right, now I'm back to three miles per hour. I'm going to decline the deck to level six. So you can see the back end of that deck tip up to decline. And now I'm going to incline it up to level 15. So the incline and decline is actually so quiet that a lot of times I have to look down at the motor hood to make sure it's actually inclining and declining. So here it is, fully inclined, and overall the F85 is really quiet. All right, here's Matthew on the Soul F85, walking at three miles per hour. Jogging at six miles per hour. And running at nine miles per hour. Thanks for watching our review of the new 2023 model of the Soul F85. We really like that the new 15 inch touchscreen comes with 12 preloaded streaming apps, onboard workouts, and the ability to mirror content from your phone or tablet. And the 4.0 horsepower motor is really great for households with multiple users and those who want a treadmill that can handle a lot of running. It also has a great 375 pound weight limit and a large running surface, so it's appropriate for most people. 
and the deck has 15 levels of incline and six levels of decline to give you plenty of training variables. The F85 is really heavy duty, yet it folds up and it's pretty easy to move around with its four transportation wheels. And with the new design, it's streamlined and easy to use, yet just as solid as the previous model, which we're really thankful for. Some things to keep in mind is that the screen doesn't adjust, so it can be a little bit harder to, to reach and navigate, especially while you're running. And the fan isn't very powerful or effective at actually cooling you off. And the cushioning is firm underfoot, so you'll want to consider this if you have uh, joint is issues, especially when running. Overall though, we really like the, that the new design is just as solid as the previous, and we're happy to say that the Soul F85 continues to be one of our top recommended treadmills. Thanks again for watching. Head to Treadmill Review Guru to learn more about the Soul F85. We have a full written review there. And you can click the link in the description of this video to see the current price. This is our affiliate link and purchasing through here helps out our channel so we can keep bringing you reviews uh, like this one. And if you find this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We review all kinds of fitness equipment so you can make informed buying decisions from home. I'm Sydney with Treadmill Review Guru. I'll see you next time.